Guys, <clears throat> that was awesome. That turkey came in from 300 yards away on the other side of the hill. <clears throat> I first saw it pop up over the hill on this bluff over here. And it saw the decoy down in this bottom. And it jumped off that ledge, curled all the way down, came right into the decoys on a string. And that was it. What an awesome hunt. This is the first hunt I've had this spring and it is May 17th I believe oh my gosh what a hunt May 17th it is 5 25 a.m unreal that was awesome let's go check this bird out Dude. Oh yeah, nice Nebraska. Whoa, smoked him. Holy cow. Dude, this bird came in right up on that hill, saw the decoys up there and jumped, curled down and came down into here. <sighs> what a morning hunt and then so what we've got out here is we've got the Avian X um, quarter strut, right? So this, man, this thing just had him locked in the whole time. And then we've got a lay down hen here that just adds to the extra enticement. And thinking about my setup, I was down in those cedars right there. So there was no way he was seeing me at all. So that right there... <sighs> That's textbook. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. Well, guys, this morning was just about perfect as it could get. The decoy setup is my favorite setup. Um, Avian X lay down hen and Avian X quarter strut Jake decoy is just the perfect pair. Um, honestly, you can run this pair just about any time of the year, but I like it right at the beginning of the season or towards the end of the season when you know hens have been bred and a gobbler is just looking for um, a hot hen so this is exactly the way that it should work that bird came in over the hill saw the decoys down here in this bottom and just came to them on a string and it worked out perfectly i couldn't be more happy Nothing better than bringing home a turkey after an amazing morning hunt. What a morning. So cool. And the best thing is my truck's only about maybe 100, 200 yards away. <laughs> oh, I love this. So much fun. Wow, wow. All right, guys, so that hunt was awesome. But before I leave you um, and close out this video, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my setup from head to toe, what I'm wearing, what I'm using, because I get a lot of comments about what's that shotgun or what choke are you using or what calls are you using. So we'll just cover it all so first off head to toe right here mindle boots we're out in some more rough terrain sitting at the bottom of a bluff here um, and i just needed to be able to get through the grass waterproof um, in the morning and be comfortable and have good stability because i went down and up a few little canyons to get to where my final um, setup was so boots then head to toe dressed in numa camo i've got these convertible pants on right now so that 
If it does warm up, I can zip these off, let them go down to the bottom of the foot, and have a little bit of um, extra breathability in the pants. Lots of pockets. On top, one of my favorite garments is this Merino Gunnison hoodie, and man, I love it. It's super comfortable. Thumb holes, a big full hood on it to conceal me a little bit better um, in the turkey woods and just about anywhere. So there's that. Let's see, uh, turkey vest. I've got a Tidewe turkey vest here. Any turkey vest will do. Probably didn't even need a turkey vest this morning, but it keeps everything in it that I need. Shells, calls, um, accessories, mosquito repellent, all kinds of things. Um, decoys, as you can see, I was running Avian X decoys. Lay down hen and um, quarter strut jake. Calls, um, the two calls that I used is this zinc call here. It is a kind of combo cut. Um, like half bat wing, half normal type cut on there. And I, I love that. And, you know, in this video and in the link below, you can check out all of these products um, that I am using. And what really helps me be successful, it's not necessity by any means. But if you're into that and you're looking for what I was using, then everything is down in the description below. Um, then this... You know, just a normal box call. Um, those two things did the trick. Um, I probably could have got away with just the mouth call or just the box call. But once those birds heard where I was and saw that gobbler saw the setup, it was over. Let's see, anything else? Well, gun. So I'll take this off. This actually is kind of holding me up. But right now, gun. Super Black Eagle, Benelli Super Black Eagle. I've got an awesome Hornady um, sling on it. I love this sling. It's probably one of my favorite slings I've ever had. Tacticam. And then on top, I've got an Avian X, and it's brand new. I um, forget what it's called, but it's their like extended range turkey choke. So I definitely didn't need an extended range choke today, but if that bird would have hung up um, just on those bluffs or whatever behind me, I probably could have reached out there and got it at 60 yards or so and wouldn't have had a problem. But definitely didn't need that today, but it is a great choke, great gun setup, and couldn't ask for a better hunt this morning. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and stay safe out there, and God bless. Enjoy this beautiful creation that God gave to us. Thanks for watching. Let's go home.